but <laughs> today's a crazy day, Jade. It's crazy oh, all around. All right, everybody. All right, we're gonna have to give everybody time to find this because clearly nothing I set up was working properly. So as as the rest of my day, week, and months, probably year. Again, I keep saying that's a song, isn't it? Nothing's right in my day, week, month, or year. Yes. All right. So now we have to wait for some people to find us. Hi, yeah. everybody. My name is John Lyons. I'm just going to just put a quick link in the chat and ask, is anyone here? If so, come on and comment. Yeah, not seeing is there any way to see how many people yeah are... i'm seeing zero right now so okay well that's fine um let me see is, is there a way i can do the link can you go back to the youtube live at all uh yeah i can do live i think but go back to youtube live and paste the link in the chat and just tell everybody to click on the link that's how you get everybody to come over here let's see if i i don't know I don't know Let's how to see. do it, but I'm looking, oh, yeah. I'm looking. <laughs> Could be worse. Oh, uh, no, that's not where I wanted to go. God, you can see the horrible things I'm seeing when I go in here. Oh, yeah. My channel. Live. All right. I'm not even seeing me live on where I'm going to freaking tell this week. <laughs> do you want to do this a Mac presentation, Jade? Sure. We'll do this and we can just redo it next time and we'll do it during our live. How about this? The next time I'll join you live and I'll interact with the chat, okay? Uh, That's what I should have done. I wanted to do originally because this is if you yeah. next, time, next, next time jade i'll engage with the chat with you and then i'll i'll help you get ready over here okay that's what i should have done i'm sorry i was just finishing mm -hmm. up the presentation all right okay i'll just start it right now all right so yeah i'll pretend everybody's here saying how are we doing okay hi my name is john lyons and i wanted mm -hmm. to tell you i've met jade jade is a very good friend of mine and i've been helping her out with the website and her it stuff and just trying to do the best that i can do um, I, I also dabble a lot in astrology, and Jade and I were thinking there is so much happening right now. I mean, as below, so below. There's a lot going on in astrology, human design, pretty much anything. There's so much compacted stuff happening in this literal five to ten year span that if you you could miss out on a lot of opportunities in life if you are aware of what's going on. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to give you a little presentation I made. To help just you know give you an intro of what you know who i am and everything else and yeah we'll go on from there so i'm going to share my mm -hmm. screen and i'm going to help show you guys what i mean okay so my 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 main thing is history in the stars that's what i'm going to say this mm -hmm. have to help everybody figure out everything about astrology so the first question you have to ask is what exactly is astrology people think it's many different things people think it's some weird thing mm -hmm. Uh, there's a lot of different terms. I mean, the ancient, the, the Druid people, any, pretty much anyone who looked up at the stars and was able to, and was able to you know, record the movements of the planets, they, they were using it as a calendar. They were also using it as a way of interpreting energies. Pretty much sometimes, eventually, at some point, some people, humans figured out that, hey, you know, like every time Mars is at this part of the sky, people tend to fight a lot. Every time Saturn is in this spot, people tend to be very, you know, obedient. There's nothing, nothing happens. And it's also a guidance throughout the ages. You know, people have used astrology to help people out. It's really, really helpful. Um, and again, why should you use it? One, one is, uh, unfortunately, the media loves to make everything, you know, into some sort of, you know, uh, I guess, company. Relationships. Relationships are important. And yes, it's really helpful. But really, what I think is very important, it's, about, it's an internal compass, it's predictions for the future, and it's also learning about your path, past. It, it, think of it like the weather. You know, a weatherman can basically say, hey, everybody, it's going to rain. You know, then you should probably not go outside. That being said, if you're feeling called to go outside, go outside. You should never base your life upon astrology. Use it as a tool, as a map. And if it doesn't fit your map of what you're doing, that's fine. But most of the time, it can guide you in the right direction. That's how you should use it. Uh, as And in fact, J.P. Morgan, 
the guy who made uh, J.P. Morgan Bank. He was a billionaire in the 1800s. He made one of the first banks in America. I mean, some people think of him as, you know, kind of, you know, Machiavellian, mm-hmm. kind of like the Rothschilds and other stuff like that. But um, he basically had this famous quote, millionaires don't have astrologers, billionaires do. Now, that's a very, mm-hmm. very profound statement because billionaires are very able to tap into the energies that, you know, are around us they can kind of see, they can kind of sense that, hey, you know, another five years, people aren't going to be, you know, they're going to be feeling a lot more conservative, or maybe they might feel a lot more intense, and they're able to capitalize on it. That's every, everyone has been using astrology since the dawn of time. It's always been around, and the elites know this, and that's how they're able to do things, and other people can as well, too. Luckily, in today's society, everyone has access to this information and so it can help both change people's lives profusely which is why it's so important for everyone to understand the basis mm-hmm. of astrology and make their lives that much easier now there's different types of astrologers there's vedic western and those heliocentric all this other stuff but for now i'm going to be focusing primarily on mm-hmm. western vedic is more it's indian vedic astrology is the indian astrology that's what was done way it was honestly before this age like it could have even gone before the last flood. It was, it's been for millions and millions of years, Vedic astrology. Now, Vedic is more personal. So, if you want to have a personal thing of saying, what will my struggles internally be? What will I be facing to five to 10 years from now? That's great. However, it is bad for the collective. The collective, I mean, society and stuff in general. Western, on the other hand, Western is great for a society. It's very easy to make predictions of what will happen with Western astrology. There are a lot of astrologers who predicted um, what happened in 2020 mm-hmm. with the, uh, I'll call it the carjacks, you know, like people, you know, or, or with, the, with the virus that went around. You could see that from an astrological perspective. And once I teach everybody enough, I'll show that to people. Mm-hmm. But uh, for primarily, I'll be focusing on Western. That's what I'm really good at. And that's what I think would be able to resonate with people because, you know, you don't have to know everybody's personal details to know about things. Mm-hmm. Now, again, going back to before, Western astrology, the elements of it, again, even as far back as Jesus, this is this painting was actually made during the time of Jesus, like maybe a hundred years mm-hmm. afterward. And as you know, when the Catholic Church took out, unfortunately, they kind of brainwashed and just completely destroyed all remnants of the past, except for what the church mm-hmm. believed in. They got rid of gays, they got rid of intellectuals, they they basically burned witches, philosophers, and Hold of the thing, but there were elements of astrology even back far mm-hmm. then, and, and the Catholic Church secretly used astrologers too. But they, you know, that's a whole other thing. But they that that, that was 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 happening at the time, and I'll get into the whole changing the ages too. That's what I want to do too. Now, I told this is this is like drinking out of water of a fire hose. Okay, I I want to be able to teach. I mean, if I come on here, I want everybody to understand astrology mm-hmm. to be able to get things. One way thing, if you guys would like. Uh, if it's too hard, let me know. But I, I like to think of a time frame as with astrology. This is kind of how you recognize each sign. Mm-hmm. From 6 in the morning until 8 o'clock in the morning, people usually get up and they get out of bed and go to work. And they're stuck in traffic. They're kind of pushy, edgy. That's Aries. From 8 to 10 in the morning, if you're in like an office place, you generally, that's when you slowly, you know, you wake up after getting to work. You drink your coffee and it's very, very slow. Instead, you get work done and you just kind of just do things kind of slowly. Mm-hmm. From 10 o'clock to noon, that's Gemini. That's when people plan. What do you want to do for lunch? What are you planning? Talking, chit chat, office politics, yada yada yada. That's just that happens. From twelve to two, that's Cancer. Cancer rules food and nutrition. So that's when people kind of go out to eat, to eat lunch, or if you don't have a lunch, you're kind of screwed. You know, get kind of tired. You know, stuff like that. From two to four p.m., that's when you get Leo. That's when it's the hottest part of the day. That's when people tend to go off on the last bit of you know doing things before it gets you know close night. From 4 to 6 p.m. Virgo, that's when people come home and organize, begin to cook dinner, and just kind of just organize their day, you know. 6 to 8 p.m. is Libra, that's when people eat dinner, that's when people talk, that's when, you know, you get to hang out with the family. Mm-hmm. 8 to 10 p.m. is Scorpio, that's when people go to sleep. That's, again, Scorpio rules death and transformation, of course, that's when people really go to sleep and ends their day. However, for people who stay up later, 10 to 12 is Sagittarius. That's when people like to kind of go out, you know, and like that's in the party stuff. That's when you get optimistic. You watch your movie, you know. From 12 to 2 a.m., that's Capricorn. Most of the time, people don't stay past midnight. And if you have to stay up to get work done, it's hard. You don't want to do it. It sucks, but it's necessary. That's Capricorn. You get things done. 
Euphoria is Aquarius. That's the weird hour. That's the witching hour. That's where weirdest stuff happens. It's like no one's ever up. It's the weirdest thing. And then 4 to 6 p.m. is Pisces, which is the end of the zodiac, which is where basically when the end of the day truly ends. That's when the sun begins to come up, and it's the most beautiful time of the day and also kind of mysterious, too. Now, I know that was a lot to ask. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I know that was kind of like drinking water off a fire hose, but I just wanted to just put that out there so you can have an introductory thing. Because the more that you uh, look at astrology, the better it is. It's a lot more than just a sun sign. People always think that astrology is, oh, I'm a Leo. That means I'm fun. Or I'm a, I'm, I'm a Gemini. I'm two-faced. No. There is so much more underneath the surface than just, you know, what, what media tells us to be. It's just, it's basic. It's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. In fact, every astrologer, the real court astrologers, the ones that advise kings, the ones that advise emperors, the ones that pretty much, you know, help with society, they sometimes had to take a sacred oath. And a lot of times, you know, it could, and they could say, hey, king, you know, in another year, you're going to start losing a lot of battles. If you tell a king that, he could chop your head off. I actually know so, uh, a person that I, know that I know that I don't want to tell her it. Like if I read her chart, this literally, I literally at first glance, she's a she's someone who likes to drink a lot, and I don't want to hurt her feelings. And that's the thing about astrology is you have to be as you know loving. It's not about love. You have to be serious. You have to tell people the truth about what they actually what it what it actually says. And the astrologers who told the truth are the ones who always are correct. The ones that end up trying to make things up, try to get people to like them, uh, or proceed, they always end up getting things wrong. And that's why astrologers sometimes get a bad rep because they don't know what they're talking about or the, they don't want to be genuine because they're afraid of getting, you know, whatever, you know. So I'm going to read this a quote. This is a quote from uh, Firmus Maternius. He was an astrologer, a real astrologer in the, third, in the 300s AD. So this was back in the ancient Roman Empire, in, the, in their prime, before the Roman Empire fell and everything was fine. Here's what he said. Uh, he said that, we beg you to take an oath that these revered doctrines will not be revealed to profane ears, but that the entire teaching of divinity will be made only known to those who are equipped with pure splendor of mind, who an uncorrupted soul has led to the right path of life, whose loyalties above we approach, whose hands are free of all crime. Receive, therefore, the detailed account with which the greatest trepidation of spirit we have promised you. So again, this was serious. Like these people are literally saying, we're not gonna introduce you to this unless you're pure of mind. If you have like malintentions or you're basically, you know, mischievous, they're not gonna tell you that. The best astrologers are always neutral. They're never, ever really uh, like, or they'll never really take a side. That's the thing with you know with anything, with intuition and anything. If you if you have an intuition about something and you have preconceived notions, it'll mess it up. You know that's why again why a lot of psychics get bad reps because they end up you know like their own emotions get in the way or you know they just they're not really aligned with again it's being aligned with God. That's what that's what it really is. It's being aligned with the sacred divinity of oneness of God. That's Sounds what like it politics, is. right? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, politics. Well, take a side. Nobody's any good. No. Well, you know, what's, 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 interesting, what's interesting is that before, the, I don't want to say the word on the stream because I don't want to downvote you, but before the virus came out in 2020, there was a pure, it was as easily, it was like a, it was like a, a softball. Anyone who knew anything would be able to say, yeah, there would be a massive grab for control. There would be the biggest grab of power control you've ever seen that will happen in 2020. And that's what happened. All these government, every single country acted in union and basically followed a procedure regarding um, the virus, so to speak. And, you know, and the same that during that same time, the last transit, you had the Knights Templar. Do you know that story, Jane? Uh, not right offhand. So the Knights Templar were a group of Christians who basically went off to fight in the crusade. They were genuine, really good people. They set up banks and they became very, very rich and powerful. A couple hundred years later, they came back to France and set up banks and they were, again, they were rivaling the power of the monarchy. Of course, the Pope didn't like that. Sorry, the, the King of France didn't like that. And on Friday the 13th, that's why it's unlucky, he wiped out the entire Knights Templar, killed all, killed all of them. And when that happened, that was the same type of transit in 2020, where they basically were, were an occulted group, i.e. power structures, killed off um, a very, like a genuine, you know, peak group of people. And of course, during that same time too, there was the that's when the black that's when the black death came around around that same type of time period. 
And so that's what exactly happened with the virus. That's why the virus came out because, you know, that, and again, and ever since then, you've seen governments have become a lot more Orwellian in the last four years, you know, and that's kind of, it's just like what's happening around you. They've been censoring things, you know, doing all this stuff and we're in a really weird time. So that's what I'm saying is that like with astrology, you need, it's, if you understand it, if you really want to understand it, you need to be neutral and need to be accepting of everything. Cause again, I mean, it's neutral. It doesn't care one way or the other, you know, it just, it happens, you know? So yeah, that's, that, that's, that's my presentation that I have. I oh, would wait think, a minute. Let's read that last part. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. I can do that. Yeah. The last part is I adjured them by the sacred circle of the sun, by the varied paths of the moon, by the powers of the five other stars. Well, five meaning, you know, they can only see up to like Saturn. They didn't see Neptune, Pluto, or Uranus because it wasn't visible by the human eye. You know what I mean? Yeah. So by the powers of the five other stars that they could see, because it was ancient Rome, and by the twelve of the and the circle of the twelve signs to keep these matters secret, never to share them with the ignorant or the uninitiated. And to remember and to honor the one who inducted them into this art. See what I mean? It's a very secret art. May it go well for those who keep this soul. And may the aforesaid gods grant them what they wish. May the opposite happen to those who forswear this soul. See what I mean? Like they were really, really serious. Like back then. Like so, they did not. Yeah, want so they know a lot is to be told by the planets and stuff because yes. it does reveal a lot. And yeah, it's it expression on hands, or they just, you know, everybody just like they said, Oh, well, you're looking at all this information you just read was a spoof, it wasn't for real. What has the government said so? Well, they're the ones trying to hide it. <laughs> so not even that. Well, Jane, that. Jane, what they're doing <laughs> now, what, what they're doing now is making <clears throat> everything genderless. They're literally <clears throat> saying, like, you can't be masculine or feminine in astrology anymore, which is this, which is horrible. Because again, there's feminine and masculine aspects and everything, and like you can't, you like it, it. And so the like the sudden and it's the and they're ushering all this nonsense into it about oppression and stuff, and it's changing before us. Two thousand years ago, Jade, there was a great reset. The great every two thousand years in history, climate change happens. There's massive earth, the earth frequency magnetic field. It's like a it's like a new chapter in a book. It it, it changes. Um, it went from 2,000 years ago, it went from Aries, which was the fighter, into the Pisces Age. That's, again, so during, the, during 2000 BC to 0 AD, you had the Roman Empire, you had all these fighters and everything, and then it shifted into an age of religion. And when that happened, the Catholic Church emerged. And again, they, were, they, they literally censored and destroyed all knowledge like literally all they basically censored everything and another power took over we're in that time period right now jane we're going to be witnessing how they persecuted at witch hunts in ancient rome they're going to start doing that they already have started doing that setting the framework for people who are conspiracy theorists and but they want to go after the religious people because those are the people who can guide people through this crazy time and they're going to have another reset into the age of aquarius that's what the whole Agenda 2030, you will owe nothing and be happy is about. That's what the, that's what's happening. It's the same cycle that's happening right before our eyes. And so there's all these other smorgasbords and trends happening quick, 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 quick. And it's you and you have to be aware of what's happening so you can get yourself through it because it's gonna get very, very a lot more it's gonna it's it's gonna be a very beautiful framework, but the dark has to be seen for the light to come in and destroy it. So that's what's happening is the, the dog is being forced to the surface so it can be cleansed by everyone than just having it be, you know, blame it on the Nazis, blame it on the Romans, blame it on this, you know, that's what's happening. So that's pretty much my presentation. Is anyone here? Anyone see that? No, nobody's here. Just you. Okay, <laughs> okay that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this link. Are you there? <laughs> All right. I'm going to copy this link, everyone, and that's how it's going to get out there. So you can see this now, um, this presentation, but at the same time, we will be doing this uh, again on my next podcast uh, so everyone can actually see it. We're not going to do separate anymore because for some reason it's not showing up on my YouTube channel. I don't know why annoying as hell this whole week's been annoying so 
caught the very end. Ah, you are here. It doesn't even show that you're here. Sorry, missed the notification. Yeah, that's all right because I I can't even find it on my YouTube channel so I can send everybody the link. It's not showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it and I'm going to repost it. No, 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 no. What I would do is whenever you – normally whenever you go online, you have to type it in the description, right? Of yeah. What that is about. Type in the – put the link into the live, into the description. And then I'll be on live with you next time. And then around five to ten minutes before I'm supposed to go on, I'll say, hey, every Jade, post the link in. And then, um, and then you'll be, and then everybody will go on from there. That was my you know, fault. I don't know. If I, I don't, I'm not even getting a link. That's what I'm saying. So I think we should just, um, we're just going to attach it. And I'm, I'm just going to, you know, for people who know better, maybe I can do a little altercation of the name or something. And hold on, hold on. Um, how, how to have other person on. Why don't you just, why, no, I, I think we should both, you should allow me on YouTube. We don't need this stream yard. The stream yard doesn't make any sense. The only well, reason you have yard is, helps me get it onto Facebook as well, because people look for me on Facebook. What about on YouTube? You can't just, you it know. does, it does Facebook and YouTube at the same time. But oh. I was looking on my YouTube channel. You see, I put you on the screen and it was nowhere to be found. Right. So I, I don't know where it's hiding at. So. Why can't so you one friend made it on, Tara made it on. Hi, Tara. <laughs> so. Hey, good to see you. No, it's all good. Hey, Tara, I was at, so my name is John Lines. I just did a whole, I can do it again, I guess. I did a whole presentation of astrology. Uh, I've helped Jade out. I'm a web designer. Hi, Tara, nice to meet you. I'm a web designer, and I've been helping Jade with her site up, trying to pick, help her to sell her stuff online, and it's been super fun. Jade has been a great friend of mine, and um, I've been just pretty much just, you know, I was telling her, I actually know about astrology. I know a lot about it. And I was just teaching everybody the basics of it. Um, yeah, I mean, I can. I would ask you. So, Taylor, what do you know about astrology yourself? Like, what do you what do you know from a baseline glance? Like, how much do you know about it? Oh, it takes like 30 seconds, you know. Eh, it's all good. It could be worse. But, like I said, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do a link anyway so people can watch this. And miss sure. It. And we, we can always do a recap. Do you mind if I share my screen? Do you mind? I'm, not, I'm, gonna, I'm going to, I'm going to just, I'm going to show people stuff that'll blow their minds. And the more you get into it, the best. So astrology, let me, let me explain something. Oh, Whoa, that's sorry about that. All right, I'm going to go back to my presentation. Give me a second that I had. I could close up accident. So um, I'm going on to this. Give me a second. Okay, go ahead. Drive. All right. So I had, I had astrology presentation that I had and I'm going to show everybody, but Astrology itself, I'm going to go back to, um, I'm just, I'll, you know, I'll just, is anyone, I'm, anyone else here that just uh, likes yeah. Star Wars? Yeah. Well, it's, it's a, I know, know. And, I, and she's not even registering on my thing, but she's here, so who knows? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I can, I can just, I can just read you, I can just read you the presentation. You want me to do that, Jade? Well, I mean, isn't what we wanted to do next time? I don't know, we got one person. Now. I can give her, I can give a deep mini dive. All right. Okay, so astrology is people think of astrology as um, like you know relationships. Like, how can I get my loved one to love me, or how can I manifest me with a Lambo, or how can I manifest all this stuff? And astrology is a very it's an ancient sacred art, and it's actually way more than you know what people think it is. Uh, the Druids use astrology. All cultures pretty much use astrology. If any people who looked up at the sky. And we're able to document, oh, when Mars is in this place, people tend to be really aggressive. When Saturn's in this spot, people tend to be kind of docile. That's what astrology is. There's many different forms. There's Vedic, Western, heliocentric, all this other stuff. So but astrology basically is a calendar. It's a way of interpreting agents, and it's guidance throughout the ages. Okay? Now, why people use astrology unfortunately the mainstream media tends to just you know get everybody to think it's all about love and sex and you know all about how can i get the one to love me and that is something that's important but there's way more than that it's basically god's blueprint that's what it is so for instance when the when the weatherman predicts rain you know you if you probably should not go out in the rain you should probably wear an umbrella you can still go on the umbrella if you want, but that's just, you know, what it is. Uh, it's a prediction pretty much for 
to you know determine what things will be or most likely will be. People have free will, so people nothing is ever really truly fixed. Things always change. But generally speaking, especially with the outer planets, you can tell when where things are headed. And I've seen it firsthand, and it blows my mind. And I'll tell you about this, all right? Oh, really? So there was this quote mm -hmm. by J.P. Morgan. I don't know if you know about him, but J.P. Morgan was one of the rich industrialists in the 1800s. He's kind of associated with the Rothschilds and everything, but he basically said this quote, mm -hmm. millionaires don't have astrologers, billionaires do billionaires do so you have to understand like if you're an owner of a company and you say wow in the next mm -hmm. five years there's going to be a lot more people are going to be more conservative with their money or there's going to be more they can time it right and that's how they're able to navigate these transits so to speak mm -hmm. these these periods of time uh it's real again that's how powerful that is because again the elite they know about astrology and people do as well too but it's been hidden from us because you know they don't want people to be able to understand all this stuff now that being said we, we have all this access information and it's and now millions of people are able to understand this and those who are able to under utilize it i've used it myself and it's really been helping me out through this time and i, I i'm telling you it's wild so the, again types of astrology there's vedic those western heliocentric i don't want to confuse you but vedic is meant for personal things meaning if you wanted to know for your personal self forget society forget predictions you wanted to know in 10 years from now what will my framework of my life look like that's vedic western is great it's the best for um collective the collective energy meaning society like you can there are so many ways you can uh predict things for society and they've, they've been really accurate with western so Primarily, I'm going to be focusing on Western just because it's what I know best. It's what everybody is familiar with. And you'll be able to understand it because that's kind of what the media kind of like is pushing, at least in America, at least. Um, again, I'll maybe go into Vedic maybe later on, but I think just not to confuse people, Western is where it's at. Now, so, back oh, wait, before we go on, I know you want to like cover all this right now, but yeah. I actually have to go. <laughs> so, oh, you have to go? Okay. I have I'll, some I'll, things I got to do. So, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll show it up. So Western, if you look at this photo, this was made during the early, like, first and third century. This was when early Christianity. So they knew about astrology. But then, of course, later on when the Catholic Church evolved, they kind of changed things over time. But they knew about astrology, and it was a really important thing. Like, all these signs of the Zodiac, and now 12 apostles. You know, that's the whole thing, 12 of the Zodiac. So, again, I, I, will, I will end it on this. So there... There were, this was an astrologer from the third century B AD. So this is like in the height of the Roman Empire before it collapsed. This was a quote by uh, an astrologer who was taken up to, to guide the emperor. And he literally, like, this is, the, listen, listen to what he has to say. He said that I adjure them by the sacred circle of the sun uh, to keep the, by, by the circle of the 12 signs, to keep these matters secret never to share with them the ignorant or the uninitiated, and to remember and to honor the one who inducted them into this oath. May it go well for those who keep this oath, and may the aforesaid gods grant them what they wish. May the opposite happen to those who forswear this oath. So basically, this is saying it's serious. Astrology is very serious. It's, 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 it's like yin and yang. It doesn't care. It's very, it can be great. It also can be bad, too. And I know somebody who I know, that if I would have, I, I'm, I'm nervous about if she was asked me to read her sign for her, you know, what read her natal chart. I'm afraid because right off the bat, if you if anyone were to look at it, you could say, yeah, this person is kind of a drunk. They tend to be kind of, you know, crazy. And and, I, and again, I have to basically tell the truth. A lot of astrologers, the good ones who spoke the truth, a lot of them, some of them, she got executed. Like if you were in the king's court and a king asked, I want to wage war on my enemies, what will happen if I do it? If you are, if you imagine trying to tell a king, yeah, you know, you're probably going to lose and be killed or, you know, you're, you're probably going to have a really difficult time. Like, it's hard. Like, you, it's the truth. And unfortunately, a lot of times, a lot of astrologers lost their heads because they were, because the kings didn't like what they had to hear. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, it's very important to understand that real astrology will never be shown in the media, you know, because it's, it's very powerful. It can help elevate people's lives. They understand it. So that's my presentation. Um, I didn't mean to go on for too much. But well, what do you guys think? Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, not even people can handle the truth. It's it's just it's very. I'm sorry about this. It's very very. Um, I'm sorry, my computer's acting up right now. But it's a very very sacred thing that. Uh, thank you too, Tara. It's a very very important thing. So there's that.
All right, Thank great. You, Tara. Okay, you have a wonderful go. day, everybody. And thanks for watching. And sorry for the mess up. And, you know, like I said, learning curve. We'll get this straightened out hopefully by next week. <laughs> yes, we'll figure it out. I'll help you guys out. Have a good one, you guys. Right, peace see out. you later. Bye, everyone. Till next time. Namaste.